Eighth grade, unit four, lesson 11, on both of the lines. Problem number one, Diego has $11 and begins saving $5 each week towards buying a new phone. At the same time that Diego begins saving, Lynn has $60 and begins spending $2 per week on supplies for her art class. Is there a week when they have the same amount of money? How much do they have at the same time? We can start by writing an equation for Diego. His equation would be T equals 11 plus 5W. I think of this as time equals the $11 that he started with plus $5 each week. Next, we can write Lin's equation. Lin's equation would be T equals 60 plus negative 2W. I like to think of this as time equals the $60 that she started with, plus the $2 that she spends each week. To solve when they would have the same amount, set both equations to be equal. So we can write Diego's equation, 11 plus 5w, equals Lin's equation, 60 minus 2w. Solve for w. Add 2w to both sides of the equal sign, Subtract 11 from both sides of the equal sign. And then finally, divide both sides by 7. W equals 7. That means that at week 7, they would have the same amount. To find out how much they both will have at week 7, substitute the W with a 7. Now Diego's equation reads 11 plus 35 equals 46. And Lynn's equation reads 60 minus 14 equals 46. They both will have $46 at week 7. Problem number 2. Use a graph to find x and y values that make both these equations true. The line for this first equation should intersect the y-axis at 3 and have a slope of negative 2 thirds. The second equation should have a line that intersects the y-axis at negative 5 and have a slope of 2. The point where these two lines meet or intersect will have the ordered pairs x and y that make both these equations true. The ordered pairs 3 and 1 make both these equations true. Problem number 3. The point where the graphs of two equations intersect has y-coordinate 2. One equation is y equals negative 3x plus 5. Find the other equation if the graph has a slope of 1. Let's start by putting a point at the location where the two equations intersect. That would be at the y-coordinate 2. To make the second line, or to make the second graph, we can start at that point and move up one and to the right one, since it has a slope of one. We could also start at that point and move to the left one and down one. Draw a straight line directly through these points and it represents the graph of the second equation. Since the second equation has a slope of one and a y-intercept of one, its equation would be y equals one x plus one. Problem number four from 8th grade unit four lesson 10. A farm has chickens and cows. All the cows have four legs and all the chickens have two legs. Altogether, there are 82 cow and chicken legs on the farm. Complete the table to show some possible combinations of chickens and cows to get 82 total legs. If there are 35 chickens, 35 chickens times 2 legs equals 70. So 82 total legs minus 70 equals 12. What number times 4 equals 12? 3 times 4. So if there were 35 chickens, there'd be 3 cows. If there were only 7 chickens, 7 times 2 equals 14. And 82 minus 14 equals 68. 68 legs divided by 4 legs equals 17. So if there were 7 chickens, there would be 17 cows. If there were 10 cows, 10 cows times 4 legs equals 40 legs. 
and 82 legs minus 40 legs equals 42 legs. So 42 legs divided by 2 equals 21. So if there were 10 cows, there would be 21 chickens. If there were 19 chickens, there would be 38 legs. And 82 legs minus 38 legs equals 44 legs. So 44 legs divided by 4 equals 11. So if there were 19 chickens, there would be 11 cows. And finally, if there were 5 cows, 5 times 4 equals 20, so that would account for 20 legs. 82 minus 20 is 62. 62 divided by 2 is 31. So if there were 5 cows, there would be 31 chickens. Problem number 5. Here is a graph that shows possible combinations of chickens and cows that add up to 30 animals. If the farm has 30 chickens and cows, and there are 82 chicken and cow legs altogether, then how many chickens and how many cows could the farm have? Chickens plus cows equals 30. So we can use C to represent chickens and W to represent cows. There are 82 chicken and cow legs all together. Since chickens have two legs, we can multiply two times C and cows have four legs. We can multiply W times four. So we can write the equation 2C plus 4W equals 82. 82 stands for the total number of legs. We can solve for C in the first equation, then substitute the value of C in the second equation. To get the C by itself, we have to subtract W from both sides. Now the equation reads, C equals 30 minus W. Now we know the value for C is 30 minus W. So we can substitute the C in the second equation with 30 minus W. So now the equation reads 2 times 30 minus W plus 4W equals 82, which can be written as 60 minus 2W plus 4W equals 82. We can collect like terms and 4W minus 2W equals 2W. Let's get the term with the W in it by itself, and we can do that by subtracting 60 from both sides. 60 minus 60 cancels each other out, and 82 minus 60 equals 22. Now the equation reads 2W equals 22. Let's make that just one W by dividing both sides by two. W equals 11. Since W represented cows, we know that we have 11 cows. If there were 30 animals all together, 30 minus 11 equals 19, so we must have had 11 cows and 19 chickens. Help me disrupt YouTube's algorithm by liking this video, commenting on this video, sharing this video, and subscribing to my channel. Thanks. I appreciate it.